Tornio was blessed with city privileges in 1621 by the Swedish king Gustavus Adolphus. It swelled in importance until for a fleeting moment it basked in the glory of being Sweden's wealthiest city. At that time, present-day Finland was a part of Sweden and Tornio was then the northernmost city in the world and it held that title for 168 years. Tornio was a renowned city in Europe of yesteryear, one of the most known trading places in the north, attracting businessmen, travelers and a French scientist. Pierre de Malberti conducted measurements on both the southern and northern hemispheres, ultimately proving that the Earth is not perfectly round but slightly flattened at the poles. His initial measurement point on the northern hemisphere was the church tower in Tornio in 1736. In 1809, Sweden experienced a special military operation courtesy of its eastern neighbor Russia and Finland was lost. The border with Russia was moved to the Tornio river. Tornio became a city in the Russian Empire and the city's glory days were over. After a few unsuccessful attempts, the new Swedish town of Haparanda began to take shape on the other side of the border river. Today commerce emerges anew, shrugging off the burdens of a pandemic that shackled borders under vigilant Finnish military watch. Towering emporiums loom, gazing across the river, one on Tornio's Finnish shore and the other on Haparanda's Swedish side. As a consequence, both Tornio and Haparanda city centers have gone into slumber. Finnish people cross over to Sweden to purchase snuff, alcohol, sweets and other necessities due to the weak Swedish krona. Swedes venture to Finland's embrace, seeking superior sausages, bread and dairy. Following Russia's recent peacekeeping action in Ukraine and subtle allusions to extending their assistance to neighboring lands, the once large numbers of Russian visitors to IKEA has dwindled. According to official mythology, Thomas Cook is said to have stated that a globetrotter is a person who has visited Timbuktu, Samarkand and Haparanda. Tornio currently has 17,000 residents and Haparanda has 9,000. Both cities are experiencing a declining trend in terms of the local population and in both cities the proportion of elderly residents is increasing. Especially on the Swedish side, Haparanda has become popular with the aging population of Finnish immigrants in Sweden. Minä tuon noin Jehovan todistin käyntelä, niin kuin aina kentällä käyn. Ja sitten nyt samalla, että menen tuohon noin kauppaan, kun sillä oli tämmöinen tarjous, tämä ämpäri annettiin, yllätysämpäri. Niin mutta samalla hae sitten, vaikka näin huono ilma tuli. Ja sitten kun näin teijä tässä, niin aina pääsen tähän kuuvaankin vielä, kun harvoin pääsee. Ja hyvä paikka teillä on asuva. Hyvä paikka. Joo, on. Kun mä saan tänne Haaparantaan päädyt. No tää on noin vanhempien mukana. Vanhempien mukana. Oltiin Etelä-Ruotsissa asuttiin ja se on noin... Mä olin lähellä Suomea, niin tultiin tänne sitten. Ja... Joo. Ja sitten on torni ihan lähellä. Tämä on niin, niin hyvä paikka ja kaikki on lähellä tuossa sitten. Niin kuin Suomen puolellakin kaikki on sitten lähellä. Meni Ouluun tai Raaheen tai mihin vain, niin kaikki on niin lähellä. Olen asunut täällä jo yli 30 vuotta pitkästi. Since it's a border region with a lot of interaction across the border, one might think that the influence goes both ways, but that's not the case. Finnish culture and language are very present on the Swedish side, while Swedish culture is barely noticeable on the Finnish side. The reason probably goes back far in history, because before national borders were clearly defined in the north, there were hardly any Swedes up here. <laughs> <laughs> 